All right, uh, my Airwolf 3D printer. It's uh, running a print right now. You can probably hear it. And my Ord bot. It's sitting there. It's getting ready to go back in the commission this weekend. I've got a few upgrades I'm gonna put on it. And my newest one. This is the FSL Pegasus Touch. It's a steniograph or an SLA 3D printer. It uses a resin that hardens under UV light. And the UV light happens to be a laser. And uh, prints the 3D object. The nice thing about these is the resolution on them is a lot higher than what you get off of any filament printer. I'm running the Rook test right now on it, which, let's see here. Yeah, there's the Rook that I did on the um, 3D printer. I actually did this one on the Ordbot when I was still tweaking settings. But it's got the, uh, the DNA double helix inside there, you can see it. It's got stair step going down in it. This came out real well. This was, like I said, when I first was set, tweaking all the settings for the slicing for my Ordbot. Then there's a lot bigger one that I did after I got some of the settings knocked down where I wanted them. And you can see the, uh, the double helix in there really well. So this one's printing one the size of the, the smaller white rope that I showed you. Um, can't really see nothing on, a, on the touch display but that yellow bar indicates how much progress so I'm about a third a little over a third maybe two-fifths of the way through the process yeah I'm, yeah so these are nice printers resin this is a 500 milliliter bottle or 0.5 liter okay one liter of resin is somewhere between 90 and 100 dollars now that sounds like a lot but i broke the math down and if you buy the high-end filament it's actually the same if you buy if you pay 35 to 45 dollars a row for your filament and don't buy the 20 dollar ebay stuff then you're printing for the same cost uh, this is a 7x7x9, seven by seven by of course you all know, this is 8x12x12, by 12 by 12, or when it's double extruder like mine is, it's 11x8x12. And of course, this one here, it's roughly 7.5x7.5x7ish. Uh, so this one and this one are real close. Except for when you print something, this is what you get. This is a little test print I did. I'll get in there a little bit, let you all see that. Let's see if I can get that. I mean, it's real fine. It's real. I mean, everything on it, the little holes, everything is precise. This was, there was no cleanup, no touch up, no nothing. This is how it came out. Okay? That's how it came out. Just like that. So. That's what makes these laser printers so great because the detail on them is so precise. So I'm running, I'm running another print with this right now. And I'm actually printing a piece to use to level this. Because you have to level the tray that in there that has the resin in it. It has to be level so the, the resin stays you know, evenly distributed over the tray. You also have to level the tray to the build platform. So when you level the tray to the build platform, the resin tray may tilt a little bit one way or another. And I'm just printing out a spacer I can put under the feet and, you know, have it all 100% level. Hey, you know, use a filament printer to make something for the, the SLA printer. I mean, you know, they all help each other. Um, this is some test resin a company sent me to test out. They're getting ready to release this uh, certified for the Pegasus. This is good resin. This will probably be the resin I buy. It's uh, a little stronger. This this is actually printed with this resin. 
it's a little stronger than the resin from uh, Pegasus. So, you know, I'm all about my tensile strength. Well, thought I'd give you an update. Uh, stay tuned. I'll be back once I get things straightened out here.